evening, I'm Laura Yamada. And I'm Paula Akana. Tonight we have a special team coverage of the veto of the civil unions bill. KITV 4's Catherine Cruz has been talking to candidates who say a public vote may be the next step. But we begin with Kyoki Kerr, who's been covering this story since it broke late this afternoon. Kyoki? And Laura, the ACLU and other pro-civil unions groups expect to file a lawsuit in state court within the next month or so. They will ask a judge to rule that Hawaii's state constitution provides equal rights, including civil unions, to gay and lesbian couples. But in the minutes after the governor announced her veto today, both sides had emotional reactions. Outside the governor's office, opponents of the civil unions bill dropped to their knees, praying, crying, and singing when they heard the governor had vetoed the proposal. Millie Kane, a parishioner of St. Anne's Catholic Church in Kaneohe, said this. We love our brothers and sisters, whatever walk of life they have but we're standing on the word of God. And Dragos Oprescu, a member of Calvary Chapel, Honolulu, had this reaction. Homosexual folks can do whatever they want to, but they cannot impose that on the will of Hawaii people to redefine what marriage is. In the Capitol Rotunda, gays, lesbians, and their supporters hugged each other, some in tears as their defeat sank in. And they mocked the governor for saying she wants to put a civil rights issue to a vote of the people. We elect representatives to do the job for us, not to hide behind the people when the job gets tough. Governor Lingle anticipated that criticism at her veto news conference. While ours is a system of representative government, it also is one that recognizes that from time to time there are issues that require the reflection, collective wisdom, and consent of the people. Within a month or so, the ACLU and the pro-gay group Lambda Legal plan to file suit in circuit court, hoping to force the state to allow civil unions. We are standing ready to file that lawsuit in short order to ensure that LGBT families in Hawaii are provided equal rights and benefits. To be very clear, the Hawaii Constitution already provides that, and we're going to make sure that the courts agree with us. The groups have plaintiffs ready from across the state. We have a number of uh, plaintiffs that, uh, that we'll be looking at. Um, you know, who need protection, now, especially now that the governor has not provided any per equal protection for them. These are, you know, families and couples. Now, the lawsuit could take months and possibly years to work its way through the legal system. Nine states and Washington, D.C. offer domestic partnerships, civil unions, or same-sex marriages. Kyoki Kerr, KITV4 News.